Listen, listen, we got to discuss major business involving the Philadelphia 76ers, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey. They are in the gym working early. We all know the Philadelphia 76ers. They got big business to handle this season. Listen, the New York Knicks, they have pretty much just established dominance, you know, um, over the conference. But I'm going to keep it real with you, y'all. They are starting to scare me. I just I just got to keep it real with you. The Sixers are starting to get – they are on my radar. I think that they are a serious threat to everything the Knicks have – or and what they're trying to do, you know, uh, Joel Embiid is completely unstoppable. Now you are adding a Paul George to the mix. You know, I think that could get real spooky. Listen, we all know the Sixers last season, they finished 47 and 35. If it wasn't for Joel Embiid, you know, um, getting injured, they, they wasn't going to be in no playing scenario. They would have been one of the teams solidified in that equation. But due to injuries that, that occurred, now with them getting Paul George added to the mix, another, you know, threat, you know, uh, like I said, PG is just, we, we're going to get into what he's going to add to this Sixers squad, you know, but with Joel and B coming off the Olympics and him, you know, basically, you know, getting after it right now, we, we just got to call it how we see it, man. This guy is, is a leader. Now, the question with Joel and B is going to always be, is his body going to be able to hold up? You know, that's going to be the million dollar question, but, you know, um, the Sixers are calling it the process and the franchise. You know, um, Joel Embiid is the process, and Maxi seems to be the franchise. You know, um, Joel Embiid last season, he averaged 34 points per game. He shot 52% from the field. He shot 38% from three-point range. He averaged 11 rebounds, five assists, and one steal. You know, um, that now when you get in PG to the mix, like I said, Paul George is going to give him something that he wish he had with James Harden. You know, um, he, I'm telling you, George is coming in hungry. You know, he left Kawhi Leonard for a reason. You know, he has to come to Philadelphia and take them a notch. You know, um, now PG with the Clips last season, he averaged 22 points per game. He shot 47% from the field, 41% from three, five rebounds, three assists, and a steal. Um, and listen, this guy, he wants to win. He wants to play deep, and he wants to have guys that are actually going to be on the floor with him, you know, in the fight, you know, because the, the NBA is a beast, man. You got to have your guys there, man. You, you can't have a situation where Kawhi don't want to play this and he don't want to play that. You know, um, you, you got to you gotta be good and ready to go, especially when, you know, it's time to go in the postseason, you know, and – Paul George, he played, what, 74 games last season? So he's showing you he's going to be there for the long haul. Um, my man Joel Embiid, despite the injuries, I know it looks like, wait, wait a minute, you left Kawhi Leonard. Now you, you're teaming up with um, Joel Embiid. But Joel Embiid, this guy had his leg wrapped up, gave the New York Knicks 50, uh, 50 buckets. You know, uh, and with, on one leg, I thought that was something to be mar to marvel at. To be honest with you, as a Knicks fan, I'm sitting back watching, like, whoa, you know, I, I was taken aback. You know, and now you getting PG to the mix, who's going to alleviate pressure off of, of off of, um, obviously Joel Embiid and that knee. You know, his knee, both of the knees. Um, I'm just hoping as a Nick, and I don't wish injuries on nothing, but I'm just saying with all of this basket, I wanted to do the when do the Sixers pull the plug here? Because you got this guy doing a whole lot, you know, and history, you know, I, I'm just saying history is proven that this guy is not going to be around, you know, when, when the time is needed, you know, and unfortunately that seems to be the case. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping this, this guy in the Sixers, man, um, Decent success. You know, I can't say nothing but the best because obviously I want my New York Knicks in there. You know, now Tyrese Maxey, who they are labeling as the franchise, he's averaging 25 points per game. Last season, he shot 45% from the field, 37% from three, three rebounds, six assists. I, I see those assist numbers going up. You know, with them adding a guy like Paul George to the mix, and they kept their guys, some of their guys, and they brought in Martin um, 
from Miami. I think all of these things, that's what I'm saying. The Sixers are a little, could, could be a little spooky. They flying under the radar, you know, because, I, and I don't know why that the Knicks are receiving all the attention. The Sixers are, or they feel like they're going to beat the New York Knicks. You know, I'm just going to keep it all the way real with you. So as a Knicks fan, I'm concerned. You know, they felt like they was going to beat us last year. Now, um, the people they got coming back, you know, they what they got, they, uh, this drumming going to be there. They're going to have Reggie Jackson. They got they got a bunch of people that's going to cause a threat. You know, Kelly Oubre, I think it's going to be another big solid pickup for them. You know, um, they got pieces, y'all. Now, let's see if they're going to be able to compete with the upper echelons now. The Six has always been a team kind of flirting with the conference finals and all that. They, you know, they never really got to that to that level. You know, uh, obviously they never went to the finals. And with Joel Embiid, that kind of talent, it warrants at least a finals appearance. I ain't saying, you know, a whole bunch of appearances, but come on, at least once, you know, and that hasn't seemed to be the case, you know, since he's been with Philadelphia uh, under Daryl Morey, you know, but give Morey credit, man. You know, ever since he, wherever he's at, he's hungry and he's always active in all season. You know, uh, look what he's did. You know, um, he came in there. Um, it was a Ben Simmons situation. You flip Ben Simmons to um, obviously um, James Harden. James Harden wasn't working out. You move him. You know, then you um, bank on luck and then you fool around and, and acquire Paul George. I think that this guy Daryl Morey deserves, you know, some credit, man, because he he's missed to get it done, man. This in the off season, you want a guy like that in your franchise. I wish a lot of teams had a guy like Daryl Morey who was that aggressive. You know, now the Knicks was just as aggressive. You know, um, Boston they they are going to be resting on their laurels. They the um, shoot, they the champion. So uh, you gonna have to beat them and. Uh, I'm going to be keeping my eyes on the sixes. You know, I just wanted to point this video out. Um, these guys are in the gym working. We're going to be bringing a lot of content to the people. It's Flight Sports TV. We got a lot of basketball coming up. Uh, training camp is right around the corner. Make sure you don't touch that dial. We're going to be back with the Chiefs soon. Um, you already know Chief Bartrand um, doing big things in this YouTube space. Um we're we going to be going live. Um, it's going to be a lot of games. Let me know what y'all want to discuss, you know, in the comments section. Let me know how, where, where do the sixes rank? You know, are they going to run off with the number one seed? Uh, or do the Knicks need to calm down? Are they a threat to Boston? Or are they just going to just fall apart? You know, um, and health at the end of the day to me is key, you know, because they can have all of this, Paul George, this, that. If, if Joel Embiid is not healthy, you understand they are not going to reach the promised land. They are they will fall to the New York Knicks. Paul George and Tyrese Maxey cannot defeat the New York Knicks by themselves. You understand? Nor can they beat the Boston Celtics by themselves. I'm gonna leave it at that. They need Mr. Joel Embiid to stay healthy. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. It's flight sports TV. You already know what it is.